guys, it's another fantastic day. We've got great weather today. It's even colder than it was yesterday. We saw a ton of bucks last night. Um, it's about 2.30. I'm heading to the tree now. I'm gonna push in a little further. I'm gonna sit off, off that field that I've been hunting as opposed to sitting in the blind. Um, I honestly don't know if it's the right move. I kinda got a feeling that it's not, but I honestly just cannot sit in a blind again tonight. I wanna be out, out in the elements. You know, that's part of hunting and, and why I love hunting so much. So I'm gonna hop in a tree that I have about 150 yards from that blind that really pushes me closer into the bedding. Uh, the wind's straight out of the west today. Buck should be moving. A little change of scenery. Maybe we can put eyes on that big browed six point buck that uh, I'd like to kill. So we're gonna hop in the truck, head up to the farm, and uh, get on the e-bike and, and uh, roll in the tree. On my phone because I don't want to get I don't want to make too much noise getting my camera stuff out but we are just moving through here super super slow we're getting in tight to where these deer are bedding at and up here we're walking down a fence row that I've got his had a stand at for a while but we're just gonna go super slow we could have deer 50 yards from us I really don't know we're just gonna sneak through here. Stands by another 75 yards. We're gonna get set up. Beautiful night. Wind straight in our face, straight out of the west. So we're just gonna keep moving. All right, guys, we are finally settled up in the tree. We worked our way in here uh, super, super slow. Um, and every year, so I've sat, had this stand here for uh, two years. And I don't know what, but I always forget that I can't see anything out of it, ever. So, um, and on top of that, I left my other lens uh, at home. So all I have is basically my long lens. So that's why it looks like we're, like I'm super close to the camera. But uh, basically this is gonna be a kill night. You know, if a deer, if a buck comes in, it's gonna be a kill night, so. I'm not gonna be able to see him basically until he's right on top of me. We've got some acorns dropping behind us and then a super thick area over here that they can get up out of and come this way. Most of the bucks I think are bedding to my northeast. That's where I've been seeing them come out of uh, the last three or four times I've hunted the blind. So we're gonna get comfortable, see what happens. Does came in, it was just too perfect. Um, I've been seeing a ton of does out here. I knew we needed to shoot, I don't know, at least a couple. So I decided to go ahead and shoot this one. Looks like it passed right through her and she just ran. Just right there, so I'm gonna try to get down and snag my arrow and see what we got. There were some guts on it. She was kind of, kind of, I mean, really kind of directly below me. I'm gonna take a look at the shot on the camera, but hopefully we didn't hit back. She ran over here. I didn't hear her run much or crash or anything. So a little bit of blood right here when she hopped the fence. But I'm gonna take a look. 
take a look at this footage and see if uh, see how it looks. All right, it's a little after seven. I'm gonna get down and then try to peek and see if I can see that doe laying on this flat. It's a big open oak flat that runs like three or four hundred yards. And then uh, I think Mickey's gonna come over and say we can't get her out of here. Hopefully she's dead. All right, I got Mickey here running the camera. We're gonna go in right now and look for this deer. Um, the shot doesn't look good. So we might have to back out for tonight, but we're gonna look in there and see what we find blood-wise. All right, we're back where we shot the deer. She was only about three yards from the tree. And I shot her and then she hopped this fence right here. Got permission from the neighbors, so we're gonna ease our way in here. I never heard her come out. Dead right there. I don't know which way she came through. She must have come right through all that. Yeah, she must have come right through it. I bet that guts man just clogged the hole. Stiff as a board, dude. There's blood right here. I don't know. Because I know. We were going left. Yeah, well, I know. In my experience, deer go back the same trail they came in on after they get shot. And, and I was like, I'm like, I know them deer came through here because they didn't come that way because I never saw them. And then they just showed up there. 50 yards? Yeah, I mean, the tree's right there. Never bled. I think the I think the guts clogged the hole. I basically hit her right where I thought I did. And I think I obviously got her lungs or something because she's stiff as a board right now and she's probably been dead for at least a couple hours. But we're going to get her, uh, get her drug out of here. She's laying in a bunch of poison ivy, which is <laughs> not ideal. But... Big healthy doe. We need to kill a couple in here anyway, so. All right, well, I guess let's get her up out of here. All right, guys, we got her drug out to the field here. Um, this deer didn't bleed at all, really. I shot her like I thought, right down from the top. Probably took out both lungs, and the guts just clogged the hole, but she didn't go very far. I'm happy to take a doe out of here. We need to take a couple more, but. The hunting's getting really good. This is probably the best first week of season or two weeks of season that we've probably had in super, super long time. But super happy to have her. Nice, big, mature doe. Uh, now we're buck hunting here on out. So we're gonna get her, get her on the truck and tote her out here.